nos vemos en el... OP Jindal, India's Man of Steel, a son of the soil, who dreamt big and forged a revolution in steel. This is a saga of courage, ingenuity and determination. In a farming family, O.P. Jindal, one of India's most successful industrialists and the patriarch of the $22 billion O.P. Jindal Group, made his mark with the right mix of intelligence, ambition, initiative and perseverance in the steel sector. He was an innovator. He always wanted to design new machines. He wanted to always do things in a, in a simpler manner. In a better manner. उनका बिल्कुल 100% स्वदेशी सिस्टम था कि वो जो करेंगे अपने आप करेंगे और अपने वर्कशॉप में करेंगे और अपना अपने लोगों के साथ मिलकर करेंगे और स्वदेशी प्लांट बनाएंगे जो एक प्लांट भी अच्छा होगा और देश के लिए भी अच्छा होगा. He used to always encourage people that uh, if you succeed, it's going to be your success, and if you fail, it's going to be my failure. So don't worry about the result. You do your best. And that's how our engineers always used to work, and we had uh, lots of failures, but a lot of uh, successes too. The journey of the behemoth, that is Jindal Steel and Power Plant today, began over three decades ago in 1989, when the foundation of the Raigarh Steel Plant was laid. Within a couple of years, it became one of the world's largest coal-based sponge iron manufacturing plant. With a production capacity of 1.32 million tons per annum of direct produced iron. If you look at Raigarh plant per se, that's where the entire story started. You know, the the late Sri O P Jindal Ji, he started that plant. Started with a very modest way, with a T R I, a small T R I. The the spirit was such that you know, unit after unit, we kept building. Spread across 2,500 acres, the state-of-the-art JSPL plant at Raigarh today produces up to 3.6 million tons of steel per annum, and has a mega coal-based sponge iron manufacturing facility. As one of the most efficient plants in the JSPL stable, the company aims to scale up the existing steel production capacity. Through internal accruals in the coming years. Initially, the plan was to set up uh, just a DRI plant of 150,000 tons per annum. So, from 150,000 tons per annum plant, today this facility is uh, the most important facility of JSPL, and we have a capacity to produce 3.6 million tons. Of steel per annum, that is three lakh tons of steel per month. Even in its present form, the Raigarh steel plant is a mega industrial wonder, boasting of a myriad of manufacturing strengths. The facility also boasts of a modern rail and universal beam mill, which is India's first head-hardened rail plant. The RUBM produces head-hardened rails. A specialized form of rail tracks used in metro, high-speed, and bullet trains. In fact, JSPL is the only Indian private player supplying the long rails to Indian railways. The mill also produces a wide range of products, varying from 121 meter long rails to medium and large-sized parallel flange beams and columns. Make uh, rail according to uh, different specification. We have supplied substantial amount of rails to Indian railways. 
Another distinctive feature of the plant is the steel melting shop, which produces 3.6 million tons per annum of steel. The SMS installation at Raigarh is amongst the very few in the world, using the zero power new electric oxygen furnace. We have two electric air furnaces and uh, three furnaces, 100 ton capacity. And we have five ladder refining furnaces, two vacuum degassing, one RH, and five plasters. We are making slab from uh, 1300 mm to 3000 uh, mm. That is three meter wider slab only JSP is making in India. And uh, we are making beam blank, two sizes of beam blanks, blooms, billets, and rounds. Rounds we are making from 130 mm to 350 mm. Nobody in India is making so many, so much variety of rounds. <laughs> Basking in pride as India's first state-of-the-art plate mill with a production capacity of 1 million tons per annum. The mill produces 3.5 meter wide plates in coil form. In an endeavor to expand its product portfolio to provide an enhanced structural section range to its customers, JSPL has set up a formidable 0.7 million tons per annum capacity, medium and light structural mill as well. 0.8 million tons of coke produced at the coke oven per annum plays a vital role in ensuring there is adequate supply of coke for the smooth running of the blast furnace. Philosophy of JSPL was to use the domestic coal. Based on the domestic coal produced sponge iron and finally make steel and based on the local domestic coal produce power and supply to the nation at a very affordable price. Unfortunately because of change in policy uh, in 2014 the coal blocks were withdrawn from us um, by the government but we didn't stop there because by the time uh, we, uh, we had envisaged that yes what is the alternate technology available to continue the momentum so that we don't stop at a particular level. Profits have come down but we have uh, started producing steel through blast furnace routes. And finally, this plant is also home to a massive blast furnace with a production capacity of 2.13 million tons per annum. Blast uh, furnace, since uh, uh, commissioning, has uh, made many records, and uh, there has been uh, the record for coal injection. Uh, there has been the record of productivity for this size of furnace. Uh. The company aims to introduce newer concepts like artificial intelligence and robotics, and install breakthrough technologies to further improve steel making sustainability in coming years. In keeping with the group's stringent policy of three R's, recycle, reduce and reuse, GSPL assets have been built keeping solid waste utilization in mind. For instance, the Jindal Panther cement plant at Raigarh has strategically been developed to utilize slag generated during the steel manufacturing process. Jindal Panther cement is uh, one of the best eco-friendly cement in the world because we are producing cement here with one of the best quality slag being generated when we are producing steel here. We have the minimum clinker factor while making cement. That means our carbon footprint in making cement is the lowest in the world. Raigat plant has got uh, in the last five years it has got uh, three years, it has got the first prize in energy conservation. So we are using all our waste gases, all our waste products. So this is a very, very environmentally, this is a very, very uh, good plant. 
JSPL has also been committed to meet the growing demand of power in the country. To cater to this demand as well as to optimize costs, Jindal Power Limited, a subsidiary of JSPL, set up India's first private sector mega power plant of 1000 megawatt. JPL has added another plant of 2400 megawatt and presently the total capacity has reached 3400 megawatt of power generation at the OP Jindal Super Thermal Power Plant at Tamnar near Raikar. You see the Tamnar plant was initially set up to generate 1000 megawatts of power. After the huge success of the 1000 megawatt power plant, the management decided to augment the capacity. The capacity of this plant is 3400 megawatt consisting of 4 units of 250 megawatt and 4 units of 600 megawatt. This is the biggest power plant in Chhattisgarh. After the break, we will showcase the philanthropic streak in the JSPL DNA as we track the objectives of JSPL Foundation, an executing arm of the company that is relentlessly working towards facilitating change in the lives of the underprivileged across the country. JSPL has always stood on the forefront of innovation in an effort to increase its production capabilities. The group has set up a heavy machinery division in Raipur. This division caters to all the needs in terms of equipment and spares of steel, cement, mining and power plants across the group with great agility. It was started in 1992 to cater the needs of the nearby industry for manufacturing the capital project items. So we are operating in different verticals to cater the needs of different segments of the markets like process equipment plants, steel, metallurgical mining industries, uh, power plant, oil and gas, bulk material handling equipment. The employees at Jindal Steel and Power are a close-knit unit. The Jindal Group steadfastly believes that its workforce is essentially an extended family, thriving on a collaborative spirit and dedicated towards a singular shared goal. The company has set up a sprawling modern residential township with contemporary amenities for their employees at Raigarh. The social infrastructure at the township includes world-class schools for over 8,000 students with modern-day sports facilities and top-notch healthcare facility that caters to its workforce and people at Raigarh. All our plants have very good housing facilities for all the workers, all the staff, really good schools. This is the best, one of the best schools in Chhattisgarh that we have over here and uh, very good uh, medical facilities. So, and you will see anywhere you'll go in the plant, you'll see that all our plants are absolutely neat and clean and they are also very green. So we take very good care of the environment and have a very, very conducive atmosphere in the plant for people to live, work and flourish over here. There is also an airstrip at Raigarh that facilitates round-the-clock air connectivity, linking the plant to major cities. We have even provided air strips within the plant and we have created an environment which is extremely green. So people even say that Raigad plant, JSPL Raigad is actually a, you know, a plant in the garden. The journey that started 30 years ago has conquered new heights today. But the Jindal group has not forgotten its humble beginnings. Inspired by the vision of OP Jindal, JSPL has always tried to balance its business priorities with its philanthropic outreach. Shalu Jindal, the chairperson of JSPL Foundation, has been committed towards creating a difference. Under her guidance, the foundation runs a program called ASHA, the hope for specially able children. Since its inception, 
around 2,700 specially able children have been provided with various rehabilitation services under this program. The main motive of this institution is, the, uh, is to uh, rehabilitate the persons, make them more uh, skillful through special education activities, through the physiotherapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy and all uh, medical activities as and when required. The company has also set up the OP Jindal University at Raigarh for students pursuing engineering, management and sciences. Our aim is to develop the core competencies and capacities like the capacity for innovation, the capacity for creativity, the capacity for problem solving, capacity for decision making, capacity for forecasting and the overall, the, whatever the skills required. Our basic purpose in this university is to generate industry ready manpower. GSPL also believes that skill development is the bedrock of empowerment of Indian youth across India. Therefore, the company has launched OP Jindal Community College in Chhattisgarh and four other locations in India to impart certified skills. OP Jindal Community College was established in 2011 to cater the need of the rural youth as well as the urban youth as well who are looking for a job, who do not complete their study, school dropouts or unemployed youth. We bring them here for uh, basic uh, trainings and uh, we put them in uh, three months to four months training and after training we as well praise them. Today, JSPL's business operations span across the states of Chhattisgarh, Odisha and Jharkhand in India. After a massive domestic growth spurt, JSPL is now reaching out globally. The company presently has mining operations in Africa and Australia. Their Oman plant is home to its country's first and largest steel melting shop. It is also the third largest steel plant in the Middle East and Gulf region. JSPL uh, has spent more than uh, 12 billion dollars worldwide in last uh, two decades and uh, this 12 billion dollars of investment what JSPL has done it has come primarily from Raigad division. The chairman of JSPL, Naveen Jindal, wears his strong sense of patriotism on his sleeve. This was on 26th January 1993 uh, when we you know, hoisted the national flag and next day when I was walking by I saw the flag was missing. We were stopped by the commissioner Bilaspur and he asked the, the superintendent of police of Raigarh to ask us to remove the flag. So we had to remove the flag, but then uh, I was determined to fight this, to fight this injustice. His relentless decade-long campaign for the right of every Indian citizen to hoist the national flag culminated in a historic judgment by the Supreme Court of India on the 23rd of January 2004. I said we Indians must get the right to display our national colors every day, our national flag with pride every day of the year. And to this day, he continues putting up 100 feet tall Indian tricolor flags across the country and has installed 72 national flags so far. The JSPL story started in the quaint district of Raigarh over 30 years ago. From its modest beginnings as a small steel making operation to the continued efforts of its founder O.P. Jindal, its chairman Naveen Jindal and a dedicated workforce of over 50,000. The group has ascended to great heights despite challenges along the way. In last 30 years, uh, more than 40,000 crores of direct taxes we have paid to the government and uh, we, we have been maintaining good profits. Uh, this is, for this 40,000 crore does not include the personal taxes paid by the employees. So that is over and above these 40,000 crores. 
this year, JSPL reached a watershed moment as the company completed 30 years of existence. The group organized an event to commemorate its successful quest of building a nation of collective dreams and empowering lives at its mega steel making facility at Raigarh. Raigarh is very good. I have done an MBA program in 1992 and I have done an MBA program and I have done an MBA program in Dallas, Texas, USA. Raigarh is very good. Raigarh is very good. I have done a lot of things. यहाँ से सीखने को मिला इस प्लांट को लगाने के लिए हजारों नहीं लाखों लोगों ने अपना अपना योगदान दिया है जिस देश ने भी इस प्लांट को लगाने के लिए अपना योगदान दिया उन सबको मैं बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद देना चाहूंगा बाबू जी Full of scintillating performances, the grand event saw the Jindal family in full attendance. The gala event also saw a felicitation ceremony where employees who had been working with the company for more than 25 years were recognized for their contribution to the company's growth. जिंदगी के बहुत महत्वपूर्ण 25 साल आप लोगों ने इस प्लांट को बनाने में दिए और इस प्लांट की तरक्की को करने में दिए जिस जिसमें आपने एक्चुअली में इस देश की तरक्की करने के लिए आपने 25 वर्ष दिए तो ये एक बहुत बड़ी चीज है। Realizing their founder's vision of harnessing the power of ingenuity and an unflinching commitment to excellence has ensured that when one thinks of steel, they think of JSPL Group. Innovate. Enable.